Jay Ellis, how you feeling right now, man? I'm good, man. I just saw the Knicks whoop on the Wizards. I feel like we're going to the playoffs after watching the nice game. <laughs> it's, it's a wrap. Like, it's going to be. RJ <laughs> Barrett's a Hall of Famer. Yeah, all of that. In the Hall of all of that. All of that. Uh, uh, Marcus Morris, you have to max him out immediately. Immediately. Right? Immediately, man. Immediately no trade. No trade for Mook. He's here. No, He's no. here to stay. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be Knicks Clippers finals. Yep. Knicks Clippers finals. Put it put it in ink. Yeah. Put put it. it in ink, bro. Book it. <laughs> Book it. Book it. Um <laughs> Gimme give, give me some thoughts. Give me your 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 main takeaways from this game tonight, man. Oh man, okay, so first first and foremost, um I like that the team defensively, they seem like they're kinda of stepping up. Um, the first quarter, they were very focused. Everybody seemed to be like they was on a string. Um, every, from the point guard on down, it's a refreshing to have a starting point guard who actually played defense. I know DSJ is not playing today, so we'll see if that continues when he's here. But I like the defense from top to bottom from the, our starting five and even our second unit. That's point number one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Point number two, R.J. Barrett, man, he struggled from three early. Um, that was the biggest knock on R.J., but uh, I didn't panic. I remember Summer League. Yep. The same thing. He struggled from three. But um, I thought he, he might pick it up maybe another game. But he ended up picking up this game. And he ended up going to the basket, getting some N ones. The dude is strong. That's not just college strong. That's, he's NBA strong. True indeed. That's it's, it's evident. He's going finishing through contact. He's drawing contact. He's a knack drawing fouls. Just has those, he just has hit those free throws. But I love what I saw from RJ Barrett. Scored. And in a flurry when we needed it, when the game got close. Yep. So he has that, it seems like he has that it factor, like, I want to take over. Mm-hmm. And uh, third, Mook, Mook, man, the Mook. gift and the curse. <laughs> <laughs> that boy's from Philly, man. Them Philly boys got a little screw loose in there, man. I don't know. You got the you got the Philly beard, man. Are you like, you like <laughs> Hey, like, listen, man. Hey, listen. I'm, I'm a state property Beanie Seagull fan. Love Freeway and them. Said. You know, I, I got a love hate relationship for Philly. I, I I I like their their swag and their personality. I hate their sports teams. You know what I mean? Uh, I yeah, I, I feel you. I hate their sports teams too. But <laughs> Mook, Mook definitely brought that Philly attitude to New York. Uh, but I watched the tape to see what happened. We hit homeboy over the head with a basketball. <laughs> I was just like, dog. <laughs> like, like what you like what you would do with your little brother, like you know yeah. what I mean? Like played other played other schoolyard type of thing. Yeah, man. I was like, oh, this, I was like, oh, he's getting rejected. Like, and, and the, the audacity to, to go that far in the preseason game is just hilarious yeah justin anderson is a pest man like while he said on the broadcast you know he's a good he's a he's a he's a pesky defender and mook was just not having it in the preseason man he said i came in i dropped 17 on your head already uh leave me alone you know he he wanted to hit the showers early and get out of there get back to he wanted to go back to philly i think he's in i think he made it to philly already you know what i mean yeah. mook is already <laughs> mook is already home that was no, all mook- calculated that that you don't want Mook home though. Mook didn't just go home to chill. Mook came home for backup. <laughs> yeah, facts, facts, <laughs> facts, Mook facts. To stay here. Make sure yeah. he's not. Make sure he doesn't take any buses or anything because he's he's in, he's in Washington, right? So yeah. everything's in. And traveling absolutely man absolutely um i would say my takeaways i would say well first off it's preseason you know this is this is an overreaction of preseason but we're just excited to see nick's basketball back um secondly the washington wizards i mean listen there's a handful of teams in this league that are worse than the knicks and i think the wizards will be one of them you know mm-hmm. john wall didn't play you didn't even have isaiah thomas playing bradley beal barely played so let's just set the scene for who was out there on the court Nevertheless, you you play who you play, and we we were out there evaluating our guys. I thought number one, it was a, game, a tale of two halves in, in many ways for for both the team and the players. I thought for the Knicks, I thought offensively and defensively they they got out hot. You you heard that um, from a defensive standpoint, they really wanted to work on getting after it early. Picking guys mm-hmm. up from 94 feet. You saw Peyton. You saw Frank getting after it early in the first half. Uh, uh, offensively, I thought they shared the ball very well. Yeah. Uh, uh, Randall was was he's he was in prime form. He's he's in game ready shape. Marcus Morris was beasting, yeah. scoring seven from all from Randall too. Yeah. S- seven assists. And and when you told me that, I was I was shocked because it, they they almost came out of nowhere. But and Randall was hot, and with the seven assists, you know that is the area where I want to see 
can, is that where he's going to elevate us? We know he's going to get his buckets. There's only a few, there's very few guys that can stop him when, when he's on his game, especially when he's playing bully ball. Mm-hmm. Knocked down a few threes as well, so he was solid. But uh, it's in the passing game is where I want to see Ken Randall really elevate us. And you saw some nice dimes this game. Ca- caught RJ a couple on a couple nice ones. So that was so that was nice from Randall. Taylor two halves in terms of RJ coming out to a, a slower start in the first mm-hmm. half. Couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. Was bricking everything. To be expected. You to know? be expected. Absolutely. As you said, we were at, I, we were at summer league. We we saw that how he can get into those slow starts. But here's the thing with RJ that that you like is that he's a gamer. And he's going to use his size and his strength to get to the basket. In the second half, Taylor two halves also in that our defense completely collapsed in the second half. Wizards had complete momentum, ended up collapsing the lead to just one. And Mm -hmm. RJ and Frank, give credit, really kept them at bay Yeah, on on both ends. And, And RJ became a playmaker out there finding guys and and he was just very aggressive and then the shot started falling that's just, that's just, yeah and even kevin knox kevin knox had to step it kevin up. knox so, yeah Mookie came in there and he hit a couple of really important shots to keep him at bay as well man it was a nice team win yeah and and not only talk about kevin, taj gibson taj gibson <laughs> light laid it up in the second half man taj was hot man the Brooklyn yeah. boy was out there knocking down. He knocked down about two or three three-pointers. You know, they was getting into a groove. RJ found him a couple times. And, we, you know, Alan Hahn was, was talking about... Um, I, I disagree with him when we had him on the show and he was kind of diminishing what Taj Gibson is going to bring to this team. I think Taj is going to be very important to this team because, like I said, my, my, uh, my caution with Mitch is going to be two areas, the fouls, Mm-hmm. And the durability. Every time I kind of see him moving out there, I'm like, uh, you know what I mean? Like the way yeah. he, he, he makes one false step, man, and he just looks like he's walking kind of gingerly. Taj is going to play a very important role as that backup five, man. So we're we going to need to make sure that he stays healthy. And I think he's going to have a great impact on the team on the defensive end. Oh, no, yeah, most definitely, man. And even some nights where, you know, when, when he gets in foul trouble, because like, Mitch got away with a couple of this uh this game, man. Like Yeah, he did. He did. He got away with a lot. He got away with a lot of fouls. A lot of ticky tack fouls they could have called on him and they and they let it go. Yeah, we actually got the benefit of the doubt on a few whistles. And even that last play when um I forgot who shot the three at the end. Mm-hmm. The game we were up by four. It was a, a risky play for Mitch to try to close out and block that three, but he went for it because he, he that's what he does. Yeah. But that was even though it was a flop and he because those type of plays, he has to kind of stay away from or get, get a little bit smarter. And that's True. when Travis Gibson might have to step in at some time. Yeah. Like, True. Mitch is a elite shot blocker. Right. Sure. But it's, it's going to be interesting to see, like, if he can learn. You know, he has to learn those game situations. Yeah. that That's what I think. Um, secondly, my second takeaway was the pace. That was another area that Fizdale stressed during the training camp interviews is that he said he, he wants to keep up with the Joneses in terms of maintain, maintaining a solid pace. And you saw that effort uh, from everybody, from the point guards, whether it was Alfred or it was Frank, really mm-hmm. pushing the issue, forcing the issue, pushing the tempo. Even Frank, you know, Frank, that was something that we got on Frank about is not yep. really, you know, pushing that engine. But Frank was out there pushing it. You saw Julius. Grab mm-hmm. the rebound, start the break. You saw Kevin Knox doing the same thing. So yeah. it seems like they're really um, putting an emphasis on working on what was uh, a lot of their weaknesses last year, which was quite a bit. Yeah, kudos to the coaching staff and kudos to the player development people, man. They're really driving it home. They want to push the pace. And we saw a lot of that today. And that's yeah. why we've even seen a lot of the assists. And, and even that second unit, when the second unit came in the game, and they was able to get a lot of stops and right. push the momentum. It just seemed like the, the game got a little even faster. Mm-hmm. And I kind of feel like that's going to be our strength this season. Like, we don't really have a super-duper star, but we just have ways of people where it's con- a consistent effort and a consistent, you know, play style from 1 to 10. And it's not going to be Agreed. that much of a drop-off, just like Elton said. I agree. And then my last takeaway was, I think in this game, you really got to, a chance to see – 
what the depth and the versatility could potentially look like. I mean, in, in the first quarter, you saw, uh, first off, the lineup. You had you had Alfred at the one. You had RJ at the two. Mm-hmm. Morris at the three. Randall at the four. Mitch at the five. You saw Kevin Knox get subbed in for Randall, which right. slid Morris to the four, Knox to the three. And then you saw Iso come in for Morris, which slid Knox to the four. You had Ellington get slid in at the three. So you kind of saw in in a bit of ways how the you know the versatility could could help us and, and, and how how the depth could help us in, in terms of what Fisdale can do. And then he also kept the rotation short for a preseason game. I was kind of surprised about that. It, it's I think I think he really wanted to set a tone and win this game. I thought he really wanted to set a tone and, and win this game for these guys. And I, he only went, from what I saw on the internet, uh, on Twitter, I think he only went about 10 deep. Yeah, I was surprised. I was I, definitely surprised yeah. he only went 12, 10 deep. I thought he was going to go 12, 13. Usually in preseason, you just kind of throw your whole team out there. Right. But if, if he's doing that, then I'm guessing somebody's going to sit the next game or something like that because usually coaches don't go that many games just playing that, you know, restrictive of a lineup. Yeah. 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 So I mean, yeah. Listen, solid. It was preseason. It was nice to see them get out there. Um, another, you know, the the camaraderie looked like it was pretty solid. You know, for a team that that has a lot of new new faces, you, you saw mm-hmm. these guys really rallying for each other for a preseason game. So it seems like the chemistry is uh, looks pretty good so far. So far, yeah, looks and pretty good so far, man. Yeah. I'm interested to see what's going to happen with uh, Alonzo Trier right now. Alonzo Trier seems to, be, seems to be the odd man out. It's only preseason. Yeah, only preseason. Only, only preseason. Uh, but eight minutes for ISO. I just think, you know, it was a matter of really just getting a lot of these newer guys some action with the team. Mm. Uh, like like a Ellington, for example. You know, Ellington right. got 22 minutes. Next right. game, next game, it may flip flop. So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't look too much into ISO not getting that much run. I just think it's more of uh, of Allington kind of getting in there and, and gaining some chemistry with some of the newer guys. And you know what else too? Like all the all the talk and chit chat about all oh, the Knicks got thirty seven power forwards and that. Like yeah. if you really pay attention to the Knicks and you're not just some kind of BS ESPN commentator who just like to do Knicks flick stuff, you would realize that the Knicks really have a problem a glut at shooting guard and not really at power forward. Yeah, the power forwards that we have. Can play center, can play small forward. They're more interchangeable. The shoot, the shooting guards we have, and even the point guard, you can you can even count Frank and Alfred in there. is is going to be troubling for a lot of those guys to get minutes as the season moves forward. And looking down the line, like I can't imagine February passing without the shooting guard getting traded. Some somebody's got to go. Some somebody's gonna have to go. Yeah. And like I said, for our friend, for our boy Dot, it's gonna yeah. be tough. It's gonna be tough to get Dotson in there, man. It's I gonna know. be tough to get Dotson in there. I just, I don't know. I don't know. And and even you know, we saw Frank getting how much minutes Frank got. Frank got twenty three minutes tonight. Yeah. When DSJ comes back, how much is that gonna be? Exactly. How much is that? That's just gonna be different. How much? Yeah. How much is that gonna be? And then like we still gotta wait see what's gonna happen with Frank on October thirty first when the Halloween comes along. Oh, I, I think that's a lock. I, I think that's a lock. Yeah, I, I think that's a lot. There's there's no reason for them to not pick up that option for Frank. Six million dollars. Yeah. Keep, I think keep going, man. Keep trying to develop this kid and, and see what's what's going on. It's, I agree with you. I agree with you. And um, I would like to see more first quarter Frank. First yeah. quarter Frank was good. First quarter Frank Frank came out guns blazing, man. He yeah, came out was, guns blazing. Yeah, that was the feeble Frank that I remembered. Uh, as the game waned on, he he got it seemed like he got a little bit shaky. Yeah, yeah, he got a little bit shaky in the closeout. Definitely in the in the clutch, he got a little bit shaky for sure. Yeah, he got slight. He got a little bit indecisive when he got into the lane. Yeah, towards the end. Um, I do like that. Even though he was missing, he kept shooting. He didn't put his head down, and he finally like hit a big three. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, so I mm-hmm. like that part from his game. But let's keep it going, Frank. Keep let's keep it Frank going, Knicks, man. Let's keep it going. 